Overnight, rain fills creeks and a river around the claim. Come morning, a break in the weather leaves the crew facing the fallout. So here in Alaska, especially where we're at, it's basically a rainforest. And we're down below the river, so we're going to be fighting groundwater. That first pond is where our cut's at. So we got to pump so we can mine. Right now, as you see, it's all underwater. Hey, Jason, we got a problem down here. We're getting some overflow pretty bad. We got to get those pumps going. Uh, we don't want to be running soup. Everyday life of a miner. If it's not one problem, it's another. And we're running on one prehistoric pump trying to suck this down. I'm not draining anymore. I need this water to go away. The crew relies on three military surplus six-inch pumps that Dave purchased with the claim. One pump supplies water to the roach, a second to old Dan. But the third that drains the pappy cut has failed overnight leaving the team's pay swamped with water. It, I mean, it, it's so funny. It goes back all through history. Miners fought with water, whether it's a lack of water or too much water. I've had a job where I was genuinely starting pumps three in the morning and running them all day long to be able to dig, but I didn't have this fossil of a pump. I think that rock might be a little younger than this pump. Before mining, I was a roughneck. I drilled oil. Because the toughest environment I ever had to work in was one where my first day on the job, there was still people picking up body parts on the ground because the guy had gotten blown into pieces by, on the oil rig the day before. I'll take water over having to see that on a regular. That's a pretty nasty environment. Nate, you got a copy, Nader? Go ahead. We are no longer pumping, just letting you know. Hey, Jason, you ain't got no flippers. I love you. Now we're talking. Charged with keeping the old equipment running, Kentucky-born mechanic Nathan Clark. Just these older pumps are hard to get going sometimes, and uh, it's just part of them. Man, they're pieces. Of we'll give her a little shot of some go-go juice. You know, I've always been a very calm and collected person when it comes to machinery and breakdowns and what we got to do to fix it. Some people are like, oh, crap, oh, crap. You know, it's like, just calm the hell down. I mean, my lord, it, it's, it's nature of the beast. It's, it's going to break. Everything breaks. Even rocks break. Everything breaks. Even our hearts break. So all these older ones, I don't like putting ether in them, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do right now. Let's go, Casey! Nate Jason. Go over to Nate. OK, pumps are pumping, buddy. Right on! Until the pump drains the cut, Jason and rookie operator Andrew must scavenge wet pay from the pit edges. So every time Andrew comes in and he's grabbing a bunch of this pay, what he's ending up with is pay that's so wet, it's like a damn soup. Alaska, she's growling at us, spitting at us with this water issue. Located in America's northernmost rainforests, deep in the Chugach Mountains, Glacier Creek is drenched in over 70 inches of rain every year. I'll tell you what, the way it looks like around in these parts, dry is going to be part of our vocabulary here in uh, Alaska. Hey, Nate, we got a problem down here. Yeah. Here it goes, Nate, 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 Nate. Shut it down! Just hold on! The 
catch up, she'll catch up. Wet pay wreaks havoc with the roach. So right now, the front end's sitting in this more soupy stuff. If it's soupy, we can't run it fast. It slides up that belt. I mean, it's like potato soup. You know, these, these rock jams, they can cause belt to rip. The roach can process over 100 yards of dry pay an hour. But now the material is wet. It slides back to jam the main conveyor. If uncorrected, this can seize a pulley, tear a belt, or even cause a mechanical burnout. Let it catch up. We can't be running this stuff. We got to run dryer material. It's just sliding down the belt. She does not like that at all. Jason. I'm sorry to call you all the kitchen and send me some soup. But is right now when they screen it, are you screening the pond? Yeah. She was about three feet deep. So we're gonna do somebody go ahead and fire up the pea water, drop it down. I mean I'm running right now. Until the pappy cut can be fully drained, Nate calls time on the roach. Kill the pump, kill the pump, kill the pump. All the way down. And the crew runs the rest of its pay pile through Old Dan. Hey, Chris, you got a copy, bud? 10 4. To guarantee success in the morning, the pump must be fired up at night. My suggestion is we're going to have to get someone out here to fire up that pump and let it run while everybody's still sleeping. We'll take volunteers or whatever. Hey guys, I don't hear no volunteers for this 4 a.m. pump fueling. <sighs> the early light of an Alaskan summer. All right, it's 4 a.m. Just woke up. It's just the way it is, being a new guy, out of mind sight. Those jobs, just got to do them. The old guys need the beauty sleep, and I'm the young buck that's already beautiful. And it's the way I'm going to prove myself with this team, and we're going to kick ass this year. 